I'm a London street style fashion photographer. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can stay creative indoors. In my last video, I made a DIY home studio that can take self-portraits, which I'll link here or I'll put it in my bio. In today's video, I was inspired by the photographer Adam to edit your selfies. So all I did is I DM my clients over Instagram and asked them to send me an edited photo for me to edit. And I'm going to show you how to create cool effects onto these photos. Most of them are um, phone shots, so it'll be quite cool so then everyone else can use the same effects. I'll be using this in Photoshop. And I decided to take this project further and print out the edits using my Instax printer. For me, waiting for the edits to come out was like I was creating my own content again. I decided I thought it would be a cute idea to give the edits to my clients as a way to say thank you and being a part of my project. And also it's quite cute to receive something during these times. I've partly edited the photos on Lightroom, so if you are interested in how do I edit my photos in Lightroom, I'll link it here too or in my bio. So here are the unedited photos. And here are the edited photos. So I'm going to show you how you can get these cool rainbow or star effects onto the photo. Now I'm going to record my laptop screen so you can see how I import the unedited photo into Photoshop and then do a little quick skin uh, retouching and then put the effects onto the photo which will be really simple once you know how to do it. So what I've done is I've opened up my selfie file for all the images that my clients have given me or my Instagram friends and you can see I've done a lot of edits but I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial on how to do some cool effects on the photos so I'm going to do, I'm going to drag an image of Izzy into Photoshop there's an image of Lauren and what I'm going to do is quickly get the spot healing tool I'm just going to quickly go over some few of the blemishes I'm being quite speedy with this on purpose because I just want to show you the the cool effects part but I want to show you that I do edit my skin on Photoshop and I don't do that in Lightroom um, and then after that I'm going to go get the brush tool because I want to highlight the eyes so I'm going to go and change the size I like the capacity at 8 and just go I'm just going to go and get a white colour and just to circle around the eyes a little bit, like the, not the pupil, but you know, the, do you call the iris or is it the pupil? Well, the pot that has a colour in it, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then I go over the, the lip area, the lip line, just to enhance it a little bit, the nose, seeing that the highlight is really popping there. And then I'm going to use eye dropper tool to get the nice pink colour lips that pop a bit more. So you go back to the brush tool, change the size a little bit, maybe I'll make it 23. Capacity just maybe 11 this time and just to slightly go over it. Maybe one more time. So I want the lips to really pop as well. So I think I, think I want everything in this image to really pop. Okay and then from there I'm going to do Command A and I'm going to then press Command V which copies the image and from there I'm going to go back to the move tool, go to filter, blur, compression blur and I like my radius to be 5. I'm going to click OK and I'm going to go to the eraser tool and get the brush to be a size 108, the capacity to be 61 because I'm going to start erasing some of the blur away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over Izzy's face and a bit of her hair. I'm not going to do the outskirts of her hair because I want it to be a nice dreamy blur fade. I'm going to do the neck. I'm sure you can do this where you select the background and just do the blur in the background, but I prefer the blending way of this. It's a bit easier for me. I'm going to do the face again because obviously I want the face to be sharp. And then I'm going to change the opacity to around 30 or 31 and just do a bit of the shirt. 
just say it's still there but it's not as in focus and just go fill over the hair again over the neck and there so we've got a bit of the blur a nice dreamy blurred background and then after you can see this looks really cool because I can show you the original see there the difference and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the stock um, images folder that I have to show you how to import and what I do I'm just gonna bring a stock one import it to Photoshop press command A again command C and command V and from there I'm gonna go to the sidebar and click screen I'm gonna change the opacity to around 37 to 36 and after I'm going to use the mask tool to click on the rainbow layer. Next I'm going to go to the brush tool and I make sure that the foreground is black. I'm going to change the opacity back to 80 and I'm going to change the brush to be a bit bigger and the reason why I'm using the mask tool is that the mask when it's on black it subtracts away the image and if you change it to white it colors it back in so if you make any mistakes it's easy to get rid of and reset so now I'm just going to go around the rainbow Also going to move the rainbow a little bit so I want to see where I put it and I think I like to put it around Izzy's face there. Let's just put the opacity back up again for the rainbow. You know what? I think I prefer it faint. Yeah I think I prefer it faint. But you can change uh, what is it the different types click multiply I think soft light would also be quite cute in this situation but I think for the video for the images I did earlier I did use screen to give it that dreamy kind of look so I'm going to carry on with the brush tool and just going around these areas I'm just going to do like a little U at the bottom just to kind of give it like a little phase and the same around the top just gonna brush it off like that a little bit and yeah let's see I made the rainbow a little bit differently I'm gonna do free transform just so I can move the rainbow where I want and then stretch it out a little bit too and put it to the side of Izzy maybe even like there Far up, a bit there yeah I think I like it like that and that's how you can add in like a cool rainbow to your photo you can also this is that's just one stock image of the rainbow I can show you one that'll be more vibrant but I feel like this looks pretty cool for me to also print out on a Polaroid. So then what I do after is you can save save the image and just call it is the experiment. And then from there you can obviously save it into a JPEG. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do please give it a like, comment and subscribe because I'd love to keep on creating content for you during quarantine. And also if you do use any of these effects make sure you tag me because I'd love to see how yours turned out. Bye!